Okay, so now let us proceed to self-built e-invoice. Okay. So for self-built e-invoice, it's related to payments to agents, dealers, and distributors, or goods sold or service rendered for foreign sellers, profit distributions, e-commerce transactions, payout to all betting and gaming winners, and etc. Okay. And then for self-built e-invoice, the general concept. So uh, in AutoCount, we have new self-bill function, which is under e-invoice, and then you can select self-bill e-invoice, okay? And then for self-bill e-invoice, you also have the save as trust, approve, approve and preview, approve and print and cancel function, okay? And then basically, for self-bill, after you submit for validation, your visual representative uh, that you have get their QR code, can. so make sure it is required to send to the supplier. So as the buyer required to assume the role of the supplier and issue self bill and buyer obligate to share the validated self bill to the supplier upon validation. But if the supplier is foreign seller, so you're not obligated to share the self bill the invoice. Only apply to local supplier. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, after you issue the self bill, uh, since you need to send the e invoice the self bill invoice to your supplier, you can review or print, which you can proceed to WhatsApp or email to your supplier, okay? So here is the sample of self bill invoice, okay? And then for self bill invoice, there are a few document types, which is self bill invoice, self bill credit note, self bill debit note, and self bill refund note, okay? Okay, so before I proceed, I show you first the function, e invoice, here you got self bill, okay? Then we click new. So you have the save as draft, approve, approve and preview, approve and print and cancel button. Okay. So uh, let's say I want to share this to my supplier. So you can click preview, full text self build or self build. Okay. Then you can send this to your supplier, which have the LHCN validated link. Okay. Okay. So let's see the scenario one: use payment voucher. So at the payment voucher, you can look up for tax entity on the cash book entry. Okay. After you fill in the customer name, and then you look up for the tax entity, and then after fill in the amount and payment, and then you can right click and copy to new self bill. Okay, to generate the self bill invoice. Okay, so let us see the illustration 70, which is the business tenant have to issue self bill e invoice on rental and utility bills if landlord does not conduct business. So let's say the landlord, Tina, is in an individual, so she does not conduct business. So uh, she ran the shop lot to Kedai Electronic Smart Gadget. So she does not require to issue e invoice to Smart Gadget, but Smart Gadget need to create and submit self bill e invoice for the rental and utility expenses. Okay. So the rent will be under code 036 for self-bill address and utilities will, the classification code is 036 self-bill address. So let us see the sample. You go to GL and then cash book entry. Here I already created rental and utility. Okay, for this rental and utility, I choose my supplier and then I select the team. Okay. Here you can select the team for this supplier and then description, I put rental and utilities and then payment method and then amount and then here I put two lists which is the first one is for rental, second one is for utility. Okay, and then after that, I right click and then copy to new self bill. Okay, and then when you go to your self bill, here it already created the rental. So when you view, as you can see, after I copy to new self bill, I put the classification code is 036 and 036, okay, which is for self bill address, okay? And then you need to send this self bill to your supplier, okay? So here is the self bill with LHN validated link, okay? 
So another example is tenant needs to issue self new e invoice for rental with multiple landlords. Okay, let's say there are three landlords, uh, rent and office space. Okay, from three brothers, Haikal, Alif, and Arif. So, but these three individuals does not conduct any business. Okay, so as a company, best Nasra, I need to issue self bill invoice for these three individuals. Okay, so each of them, I need to issue rental, and then I put the classification code as 036 self bill letters. Okay. So another uh, example is Malaysian buyers are required to issue self bill invoice for service acquired from foreign seller. So let's say Food Aid Sembahat hires legal advisor ABC Advisory Ltd from UK for legal service. Okay, and then ABC issued uh, invoice to Food Aid Malaysian buyer for service rendered. So ABC advisor not required to issue invoice, but Food Aid is required to issue self bill invoice. Okay, so let's say this one is for my foreign seller. So I go to purchase invoice. Yeah. Foreign bar seller. So I see supplier. And this one I buy for service. Okay, let's see. Let me Okay, and then I right click, copy to new self bill. Okay, and then the supplier, I need to choose foreign seller. Yes, the supplier. Okay, and then document type is self bill invoice. The classification code is I need to put zero three five. Let's say this one is service, so I put zero three five. Zero three five is self bill importation of services. Okay. And then I click approve. Okay. Then for this self bill, I need to go to invoice self bill. Okay. This one is invalid. Supplier team is invalid. Okay. So you need to make sure that the team number is correct. So you can see the example for this one is valid one. So for this supplier, you just leave it blank. Okay. Leave it blank. So uh, system will auto fill EI9030 for foreign supplier. Okay, and then you can submit uh, the self bill e invoice for this supplier to prove as your expenses. Okay, and then make sure that the self billing e invoice importation of uh, service uh, to issue the self bill, uh, it is uh, issued by the end of the month following the month upon. Okay, let's say you make the payment first at 29 of June. So uh, you required to issue the self bill at the end of July. Okay, the next month of June. But if you uh, receive the receipt first, on the 1st of July, after that, only you make payment. So you need to follow the uh, invoice uh, date, which is 1st July. So uh, the following month, at the end of August, you required to issue the self bill e invoice, okay? So next is scenario two, use purchase invoice. So same as I showed just now, right click the purchase invoice to generate the self bill invoice, okay? So question 16 is buyer need to issue self bill e invoice when purchasing product, from an individual who not conducting business. So if you purchase from individual not conducting business, you need to self bill her to prove your expenses. Okay. Okay. And then we got cross border transaction. Okay. It was a transaction between Malaysian buyer and foreign supplier. Okay. So let's say you've got business required to issue self bill uh, invoice when purchase imported goods from foreign seller. Okay. So you need to issue self bill invoice to prove your expenses. The code will be 034, self bill importation of goods. Okay. And then, same for importation of goods, uh, you need to check the custom clearance. If the custom clearance is fall on 29th of June, so you need to issue e invoice at the end of the month of July. But if your custom clearance is 1st of July, the last date for you to issue the self bill e invoice is 31st of August. Okay. 
Okay, and then make sure to issue the staff bill invoice for uh, important of goods, you need to fill in the K1 form. Okay, so here you can see at staff bill. So here you go to ensure this one don't have. Okay, so as you can see under an extra on your tab, uh, you need to fill in the K1 form, okay? To submit self-bill self invoice, okay? And then scenario three is use, use AR credit note, okay? Transaction which involves payment to agents, dealers, and, and distributors, okay? So typically earns a commission from seller, product owner, or service provider. So... Uh, you can see this sample, which is buyer, shall issue the self-bill invoice to applicable transaction for payments to agents, dealer, and distributors uh, for commission. Okay, let's say Alif is a car salesman at Bond Automotive Sedamahat. So he sold a model T car for 6,000 ringgit. Okay, and then 20% commission. And then Bond Automotive, the company, need to issue self-bill invoice to record 20% commission paid to Alif. Okay, so normally in this situation, the company will issue a credit note uh, and then the credit note will transfer to sell e invoice. Okay, and make sure just dealer or distributors. Okay, so at the AR credit note, you also, after you create it, you can right click and copy the new sales bill. Okay. Okay, and then scenario four, handle e-commerce transaction. Okay, as you all know, that for e-commerce transaction like Shopee and Lazada, they need to issue staff bill e-invoice for their supplier. Okay, so if you, the seller that sell uh, things to Shopee and Lazada, so you don't need to issue uh, e-invoice to Shopee and Lazada because they will self bill uh, to you. Okay, let's say Tina purchased smartphone from Kedai Electronics Smart Gadget. Okay, and then Tina, Require an e invoice. So, this e commerce platform, CP, will issue e invoice to Tina on behalf of the electronic smart gadget. Uh, and then uh, the CP is also required to submit self bill e invoice to the electronic smart gadget. Okay? So, the electronic smart gadget, no need to issue e invoice to CP. Okay? So, if you have transaction uh, to Shopee or Lazada, like here, so you need to untick submit e invoice. So, that uh, both parties didn't submit the same document to my invoice portal. Okay. Okay. So for self bill invoice, other related issues is buyer are not required to issue self bill invoice if the interest payment is made to a financial institution. Okay. So Tina secured a loan from Bank Duet to finance to purchase her car. Okay. And then Tina make monthly installment payments. Okay. But Tina. Uh, making an interest payment to the bank. So she don't need to issue self bill invoice, but uh, bank need to issue the invoice to Tina. Okay. Okay, another one is buyer are required to issue self bill invoice uh, on interest payment made to letter companies. Okay. So for this other illustration, you may view.